So in this video, I'm just going to be covering how to use the transitions that are provided by Ryan Nangle's channel for Final Cut Pro users. I'm going to be showing you how to use those transitions in a vertical video timeline just like this one. Okay, most people have seen now how to make vertical projects, so there you go, that's how you do that. <laughs> okay, so if you've tried to make a vertical video using some of Ryan Nangle's transitions, you may have come up against this problem where you start to get these kind of black lines around the edges and I came up against this problem so I decided that I would just do a quick video showing just a quick way around. Once you've finished your vertical video you just want to duplicate the project but then you want to change the properties. Let me just change the name so it's not as confusing. Okay so you duplicate the project and then you want to change the properties to a normal 1080 resolution. And then what you want to do is you just want to you want to go on these clips and then you want to make them so that they fit. But then you want to stretch out the Y axis and it's going to look weird. But once you've applied the transitions and stretched it back down to a normal ratio, then it will it will it will look fine. So do that to that clip. And then you can just uh, command C to copy it and then on all your other clips you can just do paste attributes and it will paste over any scaling and changing around so now this one should be stretched out nicely as well okay and you will see that the transition doesn't have any oh you can kind of see a little bit it's not as clean as it could be maybe I could bring that in up a little bit would that fix it wrong clip do on this one there we go, okay. So the scale was a bit small, so it was still seeing edges. So now that I've made that fit, you, can, you, can't, you don't see any more black around the edge. And then I would just export that, which would give me this kind of weird wide thing, which you don't really want. But then we can duplicate the first one again. And the reason we're doing the first one is because we want this ratio, we want this thin. Let me just call that three. And then in this, you can get rid of that and you can just import what you've just exported. So then you just drag that in and you just want to pull it, oop, wrong side. You just want to pull the Y back up to being full. And now it should have the transition working smoothly. So yeah, I hope that helps. And yeah, and if you make anything cool on IGTV, I'd like to check them out. My IG is at on the matters. Peace.